Hello folks, summer's drawing to a close here now. Um, it's still quite nice and sunny and reasonably warm outside. Pebbles, the astro cat's out making the most of the afternoon sunshine. You can almost smell the autumn in the air and uh, autumn's actually my favourite time to do astrophotography. It gets dark here around nine o'clock so you can get a couple of hours in and uh, still go to work the next day. The summer objects are still visible and things like the Andromeda galaxy will be up over my roof in another week or two at say nine o'clock at night. Tonight I'm back in my favourite constellation which is Cygnus the Swan which is just beginning its dive down towards the western horizon now and I'm going to be looking at one of my favourite objects which is the Veil Nebula and in particular the Eastern Veil Nebula. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a photograph of that and uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. The Eastern Vale Nebula is part of a much larger complex of energised gas and dust caused by a star that went supernova about 10,000 years ago. This star was uh, about 20 times the size of the Sun and when it exploded it would have been visible from Earth. Part of the complex includes the equally beautiful Western Vale Nebula, although I actually prefer the, the Eastern Vale. And the great thing about it is that it's a really colourful object. The main gases that are within this object are hydrogen and oxygen. And hydrogen gases show up as red and oxygen gases show up as a kind of cyan or, or blue colour. And I'm particularly excited because I've had my camera astro modified, which basically means that it's more sensitive to wavelengths of light coming in from the hydrogen end of the spectrum. So I'm hoping to get a much better image than I've achieved ever before with, with this particular target. So yeah, all I want now is for it to get dark and we can get cracking. My kit for this evening is my usual deep sky setup of a Skywatcher EQM35 mount onto which I've fitted a TS Optics Photoline 60mm APO refractor and my Canon 800D camera. Soon enough it was getting dark and my night's work could begin. There's my first frame in and you can see the Eastern Vale Nebula right smack in the middle so I'm really pleased with that. Since it was such a beautiful evening I decided to sit outside with my rig while the imaging run was taking place and just enjoy being outside and looking up at the stars. <laughs> 